So our new report shows that there are just 62 super rich billionaires who now own the same wealth as the poorest half of the world put together. That's 3.6 billion people. And the research also shows that the richest 1% of people now own more than the other 99% of us put together. So the 62 billionaires contain some familiar names, people who've made their money in the tech boom in recent years, for instance, uh, includes others who uh, inherited their wealth. The, the things most of them have in common, they're almost all men, most of them are white and from America and Europe, uh, though there are also some from Asia and Latin America too. So the, the bottom 50% of people in the world, a lot of these are people living in really abject poverty. The bottom 10% particularly, this is people who are really having to struggle every day to make ends meet and just to feed their families. Uh, others are people who are maybe just rising out of poverty, uh, but are still obviously owning very little in terms of, of, of wealth and assets. Yeah, so most of the world's poorest people are still in Asia, in Africa. Uh, Though obviously poverty is a very real thing in almost every single country on, on earth now. So we want to see political leaders showing the bravery and the conviction to tackle vested interests and to make policies, to make laws that work for everybody and not just for this tiny but very powerful minority, which is what we've been seeing till now. So tax havens have been continuing to grow and the UK is absolutely at the centre of the global tax haven network. So there's a lot more they can do and a lot more they should do. Places like the Cayman Islands or Bermuda, the UK has a lot of direct influence over them and vast amounts of wealth are being stashed in those islands. Uh, and that's money that should be being spent on, on schools, on hospitals. So a lot of the world's richest people are also very generous philanthropists. But the bottom line is, all of us have to pay our fair share of tax, and that's not a matter of choice for most of us. Most of us pay our fair share because we want to and because we have to. It's only the world's richest individuals and the world's biggest companies who even have this choice to, to hire these armies of tax lawyers and accountants to hide their money offshore. If people really want to contribute to society, then they should be contributing their taxes. The, the money donated by the UK public makes an enormous difference. If you're a Syrian refugee right now, for instance, you don't want to wait for the world's leaders to fix the inequality crisis and sort out tax havens. You, you need food on the table for your kids today. You need a shelter over your head. And that kind of thing is, is provided for uh, very often by the generosity of members of the public.